In Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, the Hippogriff is described as a distant relative of the Griffin, possessing the body and hind legs of a horse, and the front legs, head, and wings of an eagle. In most D&D settings, the origin of these beasts has been, quote, lost to time, but some older source materials state that they were the result of a horse and griffin breeding, in an attempt to make a more docile, less intelligent flying mount for those who were less trained in aerial combat. The Hippogriff has an AC of 11 and 19 hit points, with a walking speed of 40 and a flying speed of 60. They have a plus plus three in strength, a plus one in dex, a plus one in constitution, a negative four in intellect, a plus one in wisdom, and a negative one in charisma. They have an active perception of plus five, and a passive perception of fifteen. Like their griffin relatives, they have the trait Keen Sight, which gives them advantage on perception checks relying on sight. They have a multi-attack consisting of one beak and one claw attack. The bite and claw both have a plus five to hit, with the beak dealing one d10 plus three piercing, a damage potential of four to thirteen, and the claws dealing two d6 plus three slashing, a damage potential potential of 5 to 15. Comparing this to the griffin, we find that the damage potential of the griffin's bite is one point lower overall, but with a much stronger claw attack and a plus 6 to hit, the griffin wins the damage contest. As a DM, I would likely never use a hippogriff in a combat scenario. While it does have combat options, it's clearly meant to be used as a mount, whether by players or by their enemies. And with its lower hit threshold and damage potential, I would substitute a hippogriff encounter for griffins almost every time. The only time combat with a hippogriff would happen in my campaign is if players players decided that they're going to be killing some hippogriffs, in which case the strategy is pretty straightforward. Attack players by diving down and doing a multi-attack, followed by flying away, and then rinse and repeat. The hippogriff is, by description and stats, not a clever creature, so this will likely be the most complex strategy it can think of, other than flying away to leave your party empty-handed and ashamed of their bloodlust. But who am I kidding? Players feel no shame. In Greek literature, the hippogriff is a legendary creature with the front half of an eagle and the back half of a horse. Unlike the griffin, it is not of ancient mythology. Instead, it's the creation of an Italian poet and writer named Ludovico Ariosto, first described in his work entitled Orlando Furioso, published in the 1500s. In the poem, the hippogriff is a creature born of a mare and a griffin that can fly faster than any other winged beast, with some later tales and poems declaring it the mount of magicians and sorcerers with the capability to fly to the moon. In the 19th century, the hippogriff, like the griffin, became a staple in coats of arms and visual art. The term hippogriff comes from the Greek words hippo and griffo, meaning horse and griffin griffin respectively, which means that its name literally translates to horse griffin. While the hippogriff was popular in the 1800s, it exploded into popular culture with its inclusion in the book series Harry Potter, which adds the proper way to handle the creature as well as giving it an avian intellect it lacks in most other depictions. When comparing the monster to its source material, we find that they're nearly identical. The hippogriff in poetry and most literature serves as an unintelligent but swift flying mount, and the D&D mount seems to serve the exact same purpose. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and comment below, and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also join the Patreon for $1 a month, link in the description below, to access videos days before they're posted here, as well as other exclusive stuff like short stories, videos, and more. For all of my other content, you can find me on Twitch at Moglaroo, YouTube and TikTok at Moglaroo Streams, or my website, mwjgilmore.com.